Hi, in today's video I'm going to talk about the second most exciting feature of driver assist called Summon and uh, I'd like to know actually before I talk any further how many of you are using uh, Autopilot and Summon or how many of you have a reservation for Tesla and are planning on uh, getting Autopilot that includes Summon and other features like uh, adaptive cruise control please let me know in the comment section below in today's video we are in Marari and uh, I was running a bit late for appointment and this is this was the only parking spot I could find here it's a large uh, uh, com commercial area in Marari and actually we are just around the corner from the headquarters and uh, manufacturer of tritium fast DC electric vehicle chargers now if you know and if you are on this channel you probably know about the company tritium that uh, manufactures uh, fast DC chargers from 50 all the way to 450 kilowatts and uh, they ship to over 25 countries around the world but enough of that tritium is around the corner here Marari Brisbane and now we are going to test the summon feature so what I've done I obviously got here got out of the car and moved it back and now we are going to summon the car out so I could get in because I'm very close to the fence and uh, for those of you who have had minor scratches to your car you know how important it is to avoid uh, crowded car parks and to minimize the risk of uh, dents and scratches from other people cars and doors that's why I always kind of uh, I'm very mindful of this and I'm trying to park as far away as possible so let's have a look how the summon feature works and uh, it is uh, it is a cool thing that uh, I like about this car so connecting to the Tesla app and now I'll just tap the summon and let's see I might have to come a bit closer updating just now and we are going forward so let's see what the car does connect connecting forward and I'm just holding my finger on the forward button so the car can sense that I'm close by and I'll keep holding my finger until I want the car to stop or until the car senses and sees some obstacle in the way and I'll be easily able to get inside the car and drive away so the summon feature is a really nice one when it works when it connects it always does after a few attempts and uh, if this is your very first time on this channel consider please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and on the bell notification so YouTube will send you a notification of every future videos thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye